Oh, this oh. isn't it, Gary? Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the Daily B episode one for the 300 challenge with your Honourable Ron Schiller, Minister of Infrastructure, of infrastructure at Manitoba. Yeah. Yes, I had to do a bit of practice just getting that one down, Pat. Uh, infrastructure, not aviation, there's an airplane right there. But... And we can't really see the, um, mountains. the mountains in the background either, but they're really beautiful. Just landed here in Vancouver with Rod, who's been keeping me company and telling me the ways of Minnetoba. And uh, How did we look after 14 hours? Yeah, not bad. Not too bad. That was a rough. It was a rough flight. We made it in the end. Not the best coffee in the world either, but we worked with what we got. So, a few questions, Ron. Okay. First one is, what are your top, what are your top three values? Uh, I always love by do your best, work your hardest, and deal with integrity. Do your best, work your hardest, and build with integrity. You bet. That's yeah. When I when I canvass for a re-election, I promise two things. I make two commitments. One is I'll work my hardest, I'll do my best, but I'll always work with integrity. Always yeah. integrity. And that's what I'll, I'll say. Beautiful. That's what I do. I'm going to inject that into the daily beat. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, and what's the best bit of advice you've been given lately? Best piece of advice, and, and this is more of a painful learning advice. Admit it when you're wrong. Just say, I got it wrong, or maybe I didn't understand what you were saying, or maybe I just didn't get it. It's okay to say, I was wrong. And and even as a public figure, or as a business person, or whatever. And even in your life with your spouse and with your kids and your family, it's okay to say, listen, I got it wrong. Sorry, um, let's try it again, and, and maybe I'll get a break in a second. Absolutely. This is a part, of, part of being human, isn't it? It's okay to admit you're wrong. Yeah. I, I, painfully, I had to do that a while ago. So. In, in business as well, one of the things, one of the sort of slap-on bumper stickers you hear a lot is fail forward, fail fast, and just being willing to make those mistakes, not attached to this need to be perfect, which sort of ties into that, which is really important. Well, and by the way, it ends with pain. Yeah. The, the minute you say, I got it wrong, I'm sorry, people go, okay, you know what, we'll, we'll cut you some slack and uh, we'll let it go. But if you stand your ground and you're wrong, it just prolongs the pain. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know you blew it. Just rip that, that band-aid off. You bet. <laughs> you right away. And mate, last but not least, what's your morning routine when you're in the swing of things? Okay, uh, love to get up and shower, and this is my little thing. I believe the most decadent thing we have in our civilization, modern civilization, is a hot shower when it's minus 30 in Winnipeg. I've been doing cold showers for the last month, but I don't know if I'm going to do it up in Vancouver today. (laughs) You know what? Being able to have a hot shower and then I go downstairs and I have this beautiful espresso machine and I make myself a hot latte. And then I drive with my hot latte to work and then sort of get ready for my day. Okay. That's my routine. As in sort of just mentally prepare or you actually have like set stuff that you actually get prepared for before you get to work as well on the way? Um, because of the job I have, I actually have no idea what my job is going to be. I have no idea what the day is going to be like. So it's just sort of getting me ready for what you have to do, what the day might look like. And uh, you know, we talked about a little bit about happiness and about frame of mind. And you have to get yourself into frame of mind. Happiness isn't something that just always organically occurs. Yeah. You also have to be frame of mind that you know I'm I'm gonna be happy about this. So I walk into this beautiful office at the Manitoba legislature, one of the nicest ones in in the world. And I always stop at the, the door frame and I look at my office and I say, I'm really thankful for however long I'm there. It's not very long. Um, I'm really thankful that I can be in this office and I'm going to make the best of it. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's my day. Right. And just one more that's coming to me. Um, one of the things that I'm dealing with and facing a lot with clients and, and people in my network is fear of judgment. And I know that doing the work that you do, that's something where you just have to marry up your integrity and just your belief and your passion in what you're doing. Um, and I would imagine that that's something that you can't allow to, to creep into your own mindset. Can you shed a little bit of light on your mindset around that and, and how you manage judgment from others? Well, I, I think you should listen, and we're talking probably more about criticism. So how do you deal with criticism if people are judging you? I mean, again, if, if, if you get the sense you did something wrong, 
then apologize and as say, soon I, as I got it wrong. Yeah. But uh, you know what? That's that's not all the time. I mean, most of the time, you probably got it right, and you're going to get criticized. I was at an event with one of my kids, and people booed, booed me when I was introduced in the back. And uh, it's funny, my, my, my daughter turned to me and she says, well, I guess that means you're doing something. Yeah. Because if you're doing nothing, then everybody probably loves you. Yeah. It's when you do things, that's when you find out that you probably are an average teacher. So um, there is a component of that. Don't let the negativity stop you from doing what you have to do. You know, if you're trying to be positive, you're going to have to be on change. You can't let negative people be you. They can't control your destiny. Yeah. Don't let negativity control you. Because it's everywhere. Whether you do or whether you don't, it's going to be there. In fact, the woman announcing right now, I think she's very negative. She's affecting our, our interviews. So. Stop already. Jeez. We know what gate we have to be at. Honestly. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Ron. Hey, pleasure. Have a great flight. Absolutely. Okay. We'll see you Take when care. we come. See you guys. Thanks, guys.